okay so before going for third query because it is a deletion so I will just skip that and I'll go to the fourth one so fourth one it is telling partition the book table based on year of publication and demonstrate it's working with simple query so we have to split our book table into only a year of publication okay so first we will execute this simple query that what we will get then we will go for view okay so what happened is we have just made a query that is I have just uh, given as publisher year from book so now we are getting all only the publisher year has to be given and you should give partition and you have to make it show only the publication year of the book so how to create it so we are partitioning our book into only a publisher year so how to do it by using view okay so it's given as syntax create view is a syntax and this is view name so you can give any name I have given it as year underscore publication as so this is a syntax and this is the query okay so our syntax is create view view name so you can give any view name as as this is the query so this is the query we have executed so first I have uh, I'll run this query so if I get the result correct then I will create a view so what will happen so since we have run the query that is select publication year from book so I have got the result so means I am getting only the publication year from the book so I will create a view so I'll just take this and I will run in my console done so what happened is it is now not showing any of the result but what it has done is the result is put into this view so this view is nothing but this is a table a temporary table created by us to only show publication year so how to check any values from a table so it is simple select star from table name table name what we have given is it is nothing as our view name so if you observe here the same result it is stored in a temporary table now so the moment the books for any moment if you want to see the publication year of a book you can create a view so it will fetch the data from the book and store it as temporary table so view is a like simple temporary table which will store the results of your query so that is what it is stored here okay this so if you type a command show tables so it now year underscore publication is a view nothing but it is a table which is created which will show only publication year of your book okay that is the fourth query then the fifth one is again we have to create a view of all books and its number of copies that are currently available in the library so where we should go so the number of copies it is available in the uh, book copies table and uh, the book ID is available in your book table and that are currently available in the library means in the library we have a program ID that is CSC department EMC department and mechanical department and it is given by which one a, a program uh, that is program ID means it is library program table so since there are two to three tables which will have which have the same attribute again we are going for aliasing okay so uh, I am skipping this part create a view because first we need to check this query so what is the query so select book ID that is what I want the information book ID then program ID then program name 
then title of the book then number of copies of the book so all the information I want now from I have to choose from which table okay so book ID is from book table that's why I have given aliasing name as B then from book copies it is BC then library program that is LP then you will get uh, the title of the book all things from the book table then where so we need to join this so what we have done in the first uh, lab program we are joining our book table with the number of copies that is book copies so I'll just go to the create table again so if you go to the book table there is a book ID and in the book copies there is a book ID so it is referring to the book so I will join this the, these two should be equal and from the library program again I am having the book copies it also contains the book program ID information so again I have to join these two that's it if you join those two if you join those two you will get the result so I'll just I'll just run this query again okay so I will get all this information that is book ID program ID program name the title of the book and number of copies so for hundred it belongs to 10 the program name is CSC then computer networks is the title number of copies are so if you go and observe so you will get the same result from our table that is book id 10 belongs to 10 that is csc having 5 so we'll get all the information of our books which it belongs to which it is ma ma matching okay so there are nine rows of information so that is what our fifth query is okay then that query is executed now we have to create a view so I will retype this that is create view and this is the view name library copies just giving the view name that is a temporary table name as same query because I want to check whether that query is executed or not and we have seen the query is executed perfectly now I'll just create a view so I'll just create a view and execute so what will happen so create a view is created so query is okay but all that result is in this table that is library copies so how to again check it so select star from library copies so if you type it you will get the same result but now it is stored in one temporary table so whenever you come back and you can check this result at any point of time you will get this result rather than typing whole query so that is the one more advantage of using view